Hey y'all, this is Anna Alexander. Welcome to my bedroom ah, on this day where I get to finally return to the legend of Vox Machina. This is season three, episode three. I like when they do that. Three and three where Percy has not had a very good day. He was kidnapped, confronted by his former demon he thought was pled guilty to a crime he did not commit and was almost turned into a rock monstery warrior soldier slave dude what the hell? but now him and the gang get to go to hell aces yeah that's about where we're at everyone's going to hell yay <laughs> so i'm ready to just dive right into it we're gonna get relaxed cozy comfy i have some water because it's my wednesday nope it's thursday it is my thursday don't remember what day it is, but I do remember that you can watch the full episode with me on Patreon. You take your copy, I take my copy, we push play, and we have a good time together for the next, what, 26 minutes and 22 seconds? I would love to see you there. You can also subscribe here because you know how much that helps the channel, and I appreciate each and every one of you who has subscribed. But I think if you're ready, I might be ready. Who knows anymore? <laughs> but let's get to it. They cannot I will not let them. Send word across the kingdoms. Anyone who delivers Vox Machina will get Rise Shaw's share of our empire. Ooh. You'd best find them first. I'll give you two days. Two whole days. Two whole days. Leave me to my family. I had a thought pop into my head and I don't know why it popped in my head just now, but when he said family, I just realized who lays the dinosaur eggs? Your cradles and their eternal agony, your milk. And who fertilizes said eggs? Just wondering who the other half of the parental unit is. <laughs> and I did hear that, um, Lance Riddick was able to do all of his voiceover work before he passed. That's great. Which tells me Thordak might have to be slain this season. <laughs> wow. For half a second, that looks like a real tree. <laughs> Lovely. That's quite the omen. Actually, mm. it's supposed to mean good luck, especially in romance. Then I should have put a bird's nest in my bedroom years ago. Not in my books. Mm -mm. Oh, that's fucking <laughs> weird. <laughs> Side, the plate of the dawn martyr is apparently in hell. Are we seriously considering going? I thought that thought that had already been decided. So if the the eminence, eminence so and so, can't remember their name, uh, took it to hell. Why couldn't they bring it back up from hell? Our former adventuring companion was just named to the Draconian Assembly. Hmm. Isn't Draconia a frigid floating wasteland? And our companion was so pissed at me she moved there. I assure you, we'll be fine. Mm -hmm. In fact, while you're gone, perhaps I'll cut down the sun tree and build an extravagant canoe. Right. Sounds lovely. Mm-hmm. Well, if you want to update me on the, um, canoe situation, I'll be out for a bit. You're smitten. So what if I am? It's not like I can act on it. Brother, women aren't some mysterious code. When one invites you to her room, you go. I, I missed that. Did, did, did Vex invite him to her room? I missed that. Problematic and... Wait, did he bring wine? I've developed a sort of affection for you, and, uh... At least he comes bearing gifts. It's Percival. I was hoping... Wow. Of course. Wow. Would you like to talk before or after? <laughs> what? <laughs> what if it wasn't Percy at the door? Oh, um, yeah, come in. I was just, you know... What is this awkward exchange coming to happen? Uh, I forgive you. We can't you. be together. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, what? 
trouble. <laughs> Doesn't care. <laughs> wow. Was not expecting this level of um detail. A future is clouded with misery. I saw it. The matron. So why? Mente, when you complete it. A mermente, that's what it's called. So joy today isn't worth pain tomorrow? Thank you, Keyleth. That's what I was thinking. If you're too afraid to let me in, then maybe you should leave. <laughs> wow, they are they are going for it. So how many roll the dice did they need to do for orgasm level of, of entertainment? <sighs> Was it a six and a nine? Just wondering. You ever get the chance to tell someone how you feel and you, you just kind of chicken out? Hey, no matter how bad you messed up with Kaylee, I'm here. Whoa! <laughs> well, you went for it. Well, there is. Hormones are in the air. I thought. Uh, oh, fuck! Oh no! Uh, <sighs> I was just being I'm nice. Go back to my magical nightclub and punch myself in the face. Wait, where? Called nightclub. Will this trip to hell be um, a, a pleasant vacation for some of them? Mm. <laughs> uh, I'm not. I, I need to. I'm not. Uh, <laughs> so, so draconia. Do draconia. Right. Right. <laughs> Where do you think you're going? You wake up on the wrong side of the sword? <gasps> oh, Jesus, Mary Joseph. Where was, um, Bex's dragon senses? Welcome to Draconia. Hope you brought mittens. I did. <laughs> Allura! So, Dola! So, is this... A little land of all dragon people? You are the gullible. <laughs> How are you faring? Confused. New friends. It's a bit of a trek. Try not to fall behind. <laughs> How far could it be? Uphill. Both ways. It takes more than one to open the gateway, and it can only be done from this side. So some of you need to stay. What? Kima and I will remain. Me too. You'll need a lookout. Um, I should stay as well. Everyone's staying. Okay. We'll go through, find the plate, and get the hell out of there. Fun intended. <laughs> Remember, we'll reopen it in exactly 12 hours. 12 hours? This mission's gonna take 12 hours? Fun. This, the capital of hell. This, a rock. <laughs> Are those souls? Yeah, unfortunately. Wow. Now how the devil do we break in? Another quality pun. Eminence didn't say it's located right here. A little nervous after how we left things. I mean, me and Allie getting together. Listen, I'm sorry. Maybe this isn't the best time to have this conversation. Um, didn't you have, like, feelings for me? There were crushes, but we had a job to do. So, you weren't, like, butthurt? In all these years, I haven't given it a single thought. I have a feeling that's going to come back and bite them all in the butt so they're hurt. <laughs> <laughs> yes, last night was fun. And? And I think I'll fix some tea. Shouldn't we talk about what that was? Call it a mistake. Call it whatever you want. I want to know what you want. I'm... <gasps> Vex, how did he know where we were? Oh, Which one's that? So, um... Orgo will gladly hunt you down. 
Vex's dragon sense is a little inconsistent. Was it always inconsistent? Or it just feels like it now? Can't hide forever. Well, we just need to hide for 11 more hours. See, they're fine. Why didn't? You all right down there? Why didn't they stay in the cave? We're better off crossing to that peak. But you're the local. Lead the way. <gasps> Unless. We need to be back to reopen it for our friends. <laughs> oh. As if you care, but you have a history of leaving allies in the dust. Oh. Oh, I think. I was right beside you when we defeated Thordek. And yet when the time came for accolades, you two wound up on the Council of Tal'Dorei. Yes, yeah, someone's bitter. Dola, I didn't know you wanted to be on the Council. I'm sorry. We both are. And this is when I turn you in for Rashawn's share of the whatever. What are you doing? You sentenced us to death! Not us. You. The dragons have sworn to spare my people. And after I turn you over, they've promised me the power you stole. Mm-hmm. Wow. How do we shut this thing off? <gasps> Too late. I hope he kills you first, so Kima can watch you die. Wow, bitter. Super bitter. Don't worry, I won't bite. I swallow my prey whole. Percy, I think your little firearm isn't going to do much to that dragon hide. Oh my word! How are you going to get back to the cave and open it up again and let all your friends out from hell? For reals? Wait, what? Come on, you overgrown idiot! You should have finished them by now! What are you waiting for? I want to see blood! Oh. Oh! No! Oh, Dola got a bit mouthy. Wow! Dola is gone. I think you're gonna have to do that a few more times. Good. I'll go find your friend. Oh, Percy's glasses held up. Well, that's pretty decent, but... Percy, about earlier, but I'm not ready to say what you want to hear. Relationships are dangerous. Your whole lives are dangerous. It always ends badly. It's like I'm a bad omen. Percy had Orthax demon inside him. Which is why we can't be more than just a fling. Is that all right? Hmm. For now. Right now, our friends are trying to find a vestige in the worst place imaginable. <laughs> but I know they'll be okay. We're getting out of this cave, dammit. Not because it's easy, but because we must. We have to believe it's going to be all right. And if it isn't, then nothing matters. Well, hell's bells, y'all. Well, that was a lot. Just beginning to end. We had action, and then we had some action, and then we had some action, then we had some action, and it all seems so insurmountable. So this is why I, I need them to get a win because it's so insurmountable. I'm feeling the hopelessness and it's like, oh, mm, uh, oh, so Dola seemed a bit suspicious as they were standing by the fire, her and Kima, is it Kima? And was saying, oh yeah, no, I'm fine. It was, I understand. Mm, hmm. 
And then we saw instantly, oh yeah, she was hemorrhoid level, <laughs> but hurt. So let's talk about the juxtaposition of Vex and Percy. Rather, a rather intimate scene for an animated series. Good on you all. Thanks. Um, and then we had Hex and Keyleth falling apart. That was a very interesting choice. And, and I'm interested in seeing how those, that, those relationships going forward, if it helps them or hinders them. But then we had the Pike and Scanlan. So it was almost as if they were budding up, budding up, budding up, couple, couple, coupling. Yes, I know I'm a romance writer. I write books about people getting together, but I don't need every single character to have a romantic relationship with the other people. I I appreciate when other when sometimes they're just friends. Lucifer, during my Lucifer reactions, um, I'm on the season where, and if you haven't watched it, sorry, this may be a spoiler. Amenadiel and Dr. Linda hooked up. And I liked it when they were friends. I didn't need them to be a couple. So I kind of feel the same thing with this as well. I don't need all of them to pair up with each other. I like having different dynamic relationships. So while I'm glad Pike and Scanlan did not also have a connection of some sort in that way, this episode, is it possible they could going forward? Sure, I don't need it. Vax and Keyleth was a germ grain that started season one. So I'm expecting that to come and go, come and go, come and go. Same thing with Percy and, and Vex. It was kind of sort of hinted at season one and it's just kind of grown. So I'm not saying I don't mind the relationships. I just don't need them all to be there. I think it makes sense. Who knows? It's late. I'm still going, what the heck just happened? Because now, again, insurmountable. We are in hell where, again, Eminence, I don't remember her name, but the Eminence didn't give him a hint about where this vestige is. Not one tiny hint. It's just, it's in hell, go. And, and Allura and Percy and, and Vex are in a cave, far away from the cave they need to be in. Why didn't they just stay in the cave to start with? Well, there we go, episode three. <laughs> they left it at a good point because I need to know how they solve this. Okay, but there we go. Thank you so much for being with me on this adventure. I do appreciate oh so very much. And if you have not already, please hit subscribe so that way you know when the next video drops besides all the other things that I'm watching. And until next time, this is just my reminder, as always, to take care of yourself. It is allergy season. The, the nature, huh? nature, nature. So stretch, take your vitamins. This is a reminder to stay hydrated and then come back and <laughs> watch the next video in the queue. So thanks again, you all, and until next time.